The concept of a flight animal applied to horses is just a libel. Uh, if you go and walk in Masai Mara, you don't uh, see all these flight animals. Also an antelope is, first of all, a cognitive animal. He born cognitive. He have a cognitive map in which he understand the world. Then is an herbivore, is a social cognitive animal, uh, and then they can express some moments of flight behaviors. But to arrive from this concept to the flight animal concept, there is an ocean in the middle of misunderstanding. So there are flight behavior and also for us as human we have flight behavior but uh, I don't think that many of you consider yourself as a flight animal. So why the horse is a flight animal? Why in every book that you open the first sentence is that the horse is a prey and the fight flight animals? This is a question and this is also an ethical question because following this Level, we have put the horse in a cage, more in the modern days. If you take a horse and you put the label of prey animal, of fight flight animal, and you rest with this label, you create a misunderstanding, a strong misunderstanding of the horse and of the cognitive ability of that animal and the animality in general. So what makes people think that horses are flight animals? Because this was a label born more in a pseudo-scientific context used from recent horsemanship to create a simply understanding of the horse but this create in the reality a misunderstanding of the horse. The theory of the flight animal so strictly, so that so labeling the horse create a vicious circle in which you have a flight animal, you have to control this flight animal, you have to train this flight animal and you have a flight animal. But in the reality if you have a naturalistic perspective, you can see more prey and predators in a round pen than in nature. If you walk in the Masai Mara or in the Saskatchewan or in other wilderness countries, you see just animals that they can go inside some moment of predation, but is not all day life in fight for survival. So it's important to understand that what we see as a flight animal is a reactive animal created from horse training. Animal training and horse training more with the looking for control uh, the horse, the flight animal, in the reality create mental state of a flight animal in that horse. In which the horse with the pressure of training, but also with the reinforcement of the training that are the purpose to uh, control the animal, in the reality create the flight animal. So the flight animal is a label created from horse industry, from equestrian industry. So it's really important to understand this kind of uh, concept. Right, now Nympha come to question the situation. So it's not a flight animal but a questioning animal, an animal that make question to the world. This is the important element. 
in which a horse leaves the label of flight animal and come back to be a cognitive animal. As an infra do now, also with the body, it's really important to notice the choice of the body, the movement of the body, that is connected with the freedom of the mind. And now arrive my Marea and start to smell my shoes, everything. Watch, observe the situation and then pass. So, the concept of questioning the world, it's very important. Training is focused on have answer from the horse. Learning and uh, what uh, I now talking about is leave space to make question to the world. For the horse. From the horse. We misunderstanding the behavior of the horse and uh, we think that a reactive horse is a normal horse that reaction in horses is a, a normal behavior but is not because that behavior is created in anthropic context as uh, an equestrian center uh, around pen or so on in training context so what look like a normal behavior is something connected with the equestrian approach. So a horse becomes a flight animal not in nature but in the equestrian world because people uh, look for fast response. They want that the horse responds fast immediately to indication and this create by the time repetition by repetition uh, pressure by pressure reinforcement by reinforcement create a flight animal also when the horse seems a calm animal we have to question if that horse is calm or is apathic is a question of real intrinsic calm or is a learned helplessness problem because that is the question about training so what we think is a flight animal is just an animal created in the laboratory of the equestrian industry